On a warm spring evening in the hills of Southern California, biologists are hoping it's a good night for romance. I think there's rattle pod right up that way. Scientists from Moore Park College want these tiny insects to mate. They are releasing the Palos Verdes blue butterfly back into the wild, a place the once extinct species has not been for 20 years. These butterflies were wiped out by man, and who's going to put them back? Humans are going to put them back. These electric blue butterflies once covered these hills just 20 miles from Los Angeles. Yet since 1984, they've been missing. Their natural habitat of coastal scrub plants, gone. As this area was developed for um, homes and, and buildings and roads and recreation, uh, the habitat for the species was slowly sort of chipped away. Everyone really believed that the, the butterfly was extinct. But in 2000, 10 little blues were found here at a Navy fuel depot. As long as you're handling way down here at the bottom, you shouldn't lose it. Jana Johnson and her team have spent 10 years nurturing eggs from just a few females in their lab at Moore Park College. They've grown a population of more than 5,000 blue butterflies. We hand feed each butterfly every single day. But with a total lifespan of just 10 days, there are few mating opportunities. The scientists have released a thousand of the insects so far. Like cautious parents, they want to see what their little ones can do on their own in the real world. And then he'll start patrolling for the ladies, and we put a lot of ladies out there for him, so I hope he finds them because that's the key. We need them to mate and lay their eggs, and that's the next generation. And let nature take its course. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.